Mobilizing the youth of today, educating them in a better way, training so they won't go astray. Here on the tables there, you will have um, a place for four persons. Today, what I will be doing is setting a cover, and that is for one person. But before you start to set the table, First, you will have to decide on what you will serve as your menu or as your meal. A menu, it is a list of dishes that will be served at the table, right? So today, I will be setting the table for a one-course meal. Now, your one-course meal, it consists of your protein, dish which you usually get that from food from animals or you get them from your peas and beans that's the protein in it and protein it helps you to grow now your carbohydrate foods or your staples they are your go food so like our yam our dashi, our cocoa, all of that you can find maybe in your backyard or you can plant them so you can use them as your carbohydrate dish. The next one we have is vegetables. So your vegetables, it can either be raw vegetables or it can be cooked. You can either cook them or you have them raw. Usually, the raw vegetable it is served with a dressing, right? So you can make your own dressing. And then, water is usually served with every meal, so you don't put that on your on the menu. But the drink that you're serving, drink is optional, right? So today, I have a menu and the menu, it is barbecued chicken, Dutchess potato, and this is made from Irish potatoes mixed with milk and then a little salt and pepper, and then you would pipe it, and then you would bake it. You can also add some cheese for that, right? And then we have the tossed vegetable salad served with French dressing. And then June plum is in season or if you're making your meal for your family, you can use whichever fruit you have available, right? So the methods of cooking, when you're writing your menu, the, dish, the dishes, they should be in the past tense. So for the protein dishes, and you can give me some examples of the protein dishes that you, you you can use to help write your menu. So can I hear some protein dishes? What did you eat today for lunch? Of baked chicken, you would say baked. So it's in the past tense because if you're serving it at the table, then you can place the tablecloth. I've gone ahead already and placed the tablecloth on the table. So the first step is to sanitize the table, clean your table, and then you place the tablecloth on it. Now the tablecloth, it should be placed right side up. So I should not be seeing the, the, the seams up, right? And then next, we have our centerpiece. Now, the centerpiece, this is usually, you can use your flower, a flowers bouquet, a natural plant. Um, you can use vegetables from your garden, because I know some of you are in backyard gardening. So you will have your sweet peppers, your cauliflower, your tomatoes, you name it so you can make a nice arrangement for your centerpiece. Also, you can use a fruit carving, you can use candles if it is 
uh, evening dinner, you can use candles as your centerpiece, and also you can use a decorated cake. Now, for the centerpiece, your centerpiece should not be taller than 14 inches. Reason for that is that when you're sitting at the table, you should be able to look to look at each other, so you shouldn't have anything blocking out the view. That's for the centerpiece. So now, next, we have our salt and pepper shaker. And these, they are placed in front of our centerpiece. And when you're doing table setting, you should have a lint-free cloth to polish your appointments, okay? So this is a linen napkin. Usually, the, the cloth that you're using should be lint-free so it does not leave any lint on what you're using. So the first thing that we are using is where we will be placing is our knife. Now this is a dinner knife. The blade of it here, it is usually placed on the inside. So I'm polishing. Next, I'm using my index finger. This is the finger next to your thumb. And if you look on it, you will see some lines on your finger. So the first line here, it is one inch. So using this finger, we are going to place it at the edge of the table. And then we are going to place our dinner knife at the tip of our finger. Okay. Next, we are going to place our dinner fork. And now, these here we call them, some persons call them teeth, but the current name they're called signs, right? So this is placed upwards and this usually goes to the left. So using our index finger again, we are going to measure the same one inch. Place it at the edge of the table. And there you have the fork and the knife. Next, we are going to place our dinner plate. Now, when you are setting the table too, you, you have different shapes, plate and different styles and all of that. So it, it depends on what you have, right? And if it was a Valentine setting, what you use, measuring the one inch, you would use the theme, you could use a red theme, red and white theme, if you are setting a cover, of it, if it's Valentine's, right? Next, we have our glassware. This is our water goblet. You also have them in different shapes now. And this usually goes at the tip of the knife. And the knife, remember the knife usually goes to the right and the water glass, it always goes at the tip of the knife, right? And then next we have our drink glass. And the last thing we have is our napkin. Now this was um, pre-folded already. This is a bishop's hat. I will do another training with um, various types of napkin folds so you can pick and choose which one you would use. And this I am placing it in the center of the plate. To get your napkin standing up in the in the dinner plate, you can also place it to the left of your dinner fork, right? So it depends on the fold that you use. 
so you can either place it either way. I will be showing you how to do a simple napkin fold. So here I am making a fold in the center of the napkin. Try to get both even. Use your hand to press it out, smooth it. Then fold it in two lengthwise and then we fold again in the center. So now we place it with the folded side beside the fork. So now we'll take out this one. So there you have a simple fold. So thanks for joining and join us next time for another exciting video at Anova 4-H Clubs Club Meeting. Enjoy the rest of your day.